Suntran is asking for public input about some changes they're considering to their bus routes. One of those routes could potentially affect the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind. Kagan 9's Andrew Christensen spoke with a teacher who uses the bus about the possible impact. The city of Tucson is using this website to ask people about bus route 5, which extends here from Pima Community College's West Campus to Udall Park. And one of those stops is right here in front of the Arizona State Schools for the Deaf and Blind. And a teacher that works at this school tells me if they were to get rid of this bus route, it could mean taking more time going to and from work. Since 2006, Casey Hopper has been using SunTran buses up to twice a day. The bus allows me to be independent where I don't have to rely on family and friends. Being legally blind, it's already hard for Hopper to get around. The Tucson heat is what makes it more difficult, uh, making sure that uh, I get from point A to point B quickly, safely. Safety is a key lesson he passes on to his students when teaching them about how to use the bus. We teach them the mobility skills needed to locate the bus stops, uh, to safely board the bus, uh, how to ask for assistance. The city of Tucson's Department of Transportation and Mobility says they're analyzing bus routes based on past public input. They say even though bus routes like the one going to the school could go away, riders would still be able to use another route, but it could have less buses. My travel time is going to increase more to almost an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. Any ramp also trains students yeah. to use buses. Yeah. She says people who use them can be more susceptible to traffic deaths, especially if they have to transfer buses. Because then you're also having to learn how to cross large streets. Riders like Hopper are just hoping the city gives the green light to keep the same route. And figure out how they're going to handle uh, the training that's going to be needed and what buses could come by here. The city says people can also call their Sun on Demand service and be dropped off in specific areas of Tucson. And the city of Tucson tells me that people can take this survey until September 8th. They say after that, the final recommendations will go to the city council and mayor at the end of the year. Now, if they do agree to some changes, they say it could be months or even years until any bus routes are changed. Now, we'll have that survey on our website, kega9.com. Reporting on Grande Avenue and Speedway, Andrew Christensen, Kega 9.